I uh, PR'd my squat recently, and I figured there's no time better than now than to try and do the hardest squat workout I have ever done. Eccentric weightlifter named Milko Tokola, and his content was like crack cocaine for me when I was getting into weightlifting. <laughs> now, in one of his videos, he does a workout called the Pig Squat Workout. <laughs> And what this workout is, is 20 reps at 20 kilos, which is just the bar. 19 reps at 30 kilos, 18 at 40, 17 at 50, so on and so forth until you get one rep at 210 kilos. So I've done this workout twice before. The first time, my squat was only 207 kilos. So that means I was going to PR on the God knows how many reps into that workout. I failed miserably. The second time I did it, my back squat was 230 kilos, and I successfully completed it. In my opinion, this is the hardest squat workout I've ever done, and really it's just a test of grit. I don't think it fits into many programs or anything like that. I just want to see if I can do it, and see if I'm tough enough to now. do it. Lady and gentlemen, this is it, the pig squat workout. And a uh, nice little surprise, a subscriber came up to me, said hello at the gym. Uh, so just to get started on this workout, there is no warm up. You wanna know what my warm up is? It's 20 reps with the barbell and then 19 reps with 30 kilos, so on and so forth. A warm up at this, in this type of workout is just, in my opinion, not worth it. Um, and like I had said earlier, like, this workout doesn't really fit into a, a program. Um, I think if people want to look at optimal training and continuously being optimal with what, everything they do, uh, you get this kind of paralysis by analysis. Like, the truth of the matter here is, like, I definitely made hypertrophic gains and potential strength gains from this session. Um, whether the rep scheme fit into anything in particular doesn't really matter. Uh, my legs are thrashed and you know that's kind of the thing with bodybuilders like they're just gonna try and thrash their legs and and leave the gym. Uh, so if you guys watched my PR back squat video um, I, get, I went through a bunch of different tactics that I utilize to warm up and get the bar to where it needs to be and um, to get my body ready and, and kind of give myself a leg up uh, so to speak with every single rep you can see here I've got no knee sleeves no belt and I have my uh, flat shoes on and I did this per purposefully the idea behind this workout is the first 10 sets uh, you just want to get them over with and they are hard in their own way because as I creep into getting near like the hundred kilo mark at that point, I've done near 100 reps, maybe like, I don't know, 80 reps or something. My math is horrible. 
Uh, but the feeling that I have just mentally is like, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Like, it already feels heavy. Even on, like, this set uh, right here, I think it's 15 reps at 70. It feels heavy to me because it's so tiring. It's so taxing. It's just, it's annoying. It's really, really difficult. Like, I do not underestimate these first 10 sets. So as we get to 90, oh, I forgot to load the other side of the barbell. As we get to 90, uh, you know, we're finishing up on like the really kind of tough volume stuff. Uh, this is when, after this set, I am like profusely sweating. Just like sweating like crazy. I feel so warm. Um, and this set, I, I think the next four sets are by far the hardest sets of this entire uh, workout. This is where like the just mentally straining stuff happens. I believe this is 12 reps here at uh, 100 kilos and then 11 reps at 110. Like these are just unforgiving numbers and I got long legs. This is a long, long distance for me to travel. Uh, still naked knees, no belt, flat shoes. What I'm doing, guys, every rep is kind of pausing at the top and collecting myself. I'm not trying to go through this up, down, up, down. That would be a mistake for myself. I like to rebreathe at the top, collect, and go. So as you can see, when I get into later uh, sets, I basically break them up into singles. So there's one single, there's two singles, right? That's how I do my sets the entire time. It might seem easier to just go up and down and up and down, but I feel like my legs get more and more pumped. So this was the scariest set for me. 140 for eight after all of that volume. So I added in the knee sleeves. I added in the weightlifting shoes. No belt yet. But this set I was thinking about the entire time. I don't know why. This set's brutal as well. Seven reps at 150 kilos. These next four four or five sets, basically from 140 to 170, those are, these are different in their difficulty. So like they are straining mentally because we're getting into kind of strength training territory, but still higher volume sets. Now, huge key moment here, music in the ears, okay? This helped me a ton. And at this point I started flying. Everything was downhill from here. It almost felt like I was coasting. You can see me, I kind of grimaced there. In my ears, I have Shadow Moses playing by Bring Me the Horizon. Now I'm feeling it. At this point, I'm my demeanor completely changes. I'm near the finish line. I can smell it. So every rep, I'm focused. I'm not going to miss groove. I'm not going to miss anything. There we go. Now I've got bleed by Meshuggah going on in the headphones. Look at my face. I'm not having this. I'm not having this at all. Like, get the fuck off me, bro. All right, in the ears now is Universal Language by Stick to Your Gun. You can see me, I sing it right here. War is all I fucking see. It's all I see. Just anger. Get this bullshit off. I got my uh, shirt off as well. It really does help feeling the iron on your back. And then finally I had this song by Amur.
Look at that smile. Too easy. Give me a bonus rep, baby. Let's fucking go! If you're not in the gym squatting for an hour and a half, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Let's go! Get out there! Attack your fucking dreams! Get huge! Let's go! Get the fuck! Bro!